Hey guys, so I'm going to attempt to talk up in a higher register and see where it goes. I'm uh, really not sure if it's going to last. Alright, so here's my update for today. And I actually have a list. <laughs> okay, so I'd say the very first thing I want to talk about is my mood. It's been so much better. It's, it's been great. I don't even have thoughts of hurting myself anymore, which is pretty freaking awesome. You know, I, there was a point in time where I tried to kill myself. Then there was a, um, pretty much all my life that I wanted to die or felt I deserved to die because I didn't deserve to live or whatever BS you want to say. And there was a significant portion of my life where I couldn't be trusted around sharp objects because I cut myself in my thighs or my arms or anywhere I could hide it. You know, it was the whole I deserve the hurt kind of thing. And I really don't mentally know where they even, how they even describe that. Somebody who's been through it probably understands it and gets what I'm talking about. It sucks. It's miserable. You hate yourself. You hate your life. But I'm past that finally. It's amazing. Took was <laughs> ironically enough eating healthy and exercising, do the things I hated doing for the longest part of my life. <sighs> so you know, this week I have not cheated on my diet once. I have severely limited my dairy intake to very minimal cheese. Um, I have not drinking any milk for a week and a half now. I only eating like lean chicken and turkey. I, I ran out of eggs and I don't think I'm gonna buy any more. I think I'm gonna put phase them out too because yes, they're healthy, but they're not as healthy as I'd like to be. Um, yeah, I'm seriously considering going vegan or Almost vegan with just a little bit of lean meat. I really haven't decided yet. Um, but between that and drinking the Shakeology shakes and all that, you know, I have energy. I don't think I'm really quite where I need to be yet. And I've got a couple ideas on that, which I'll talk about in a minute. But exercise wise, you know, like I said, I think I mentioned in my last video, I did three exercises in one night the other night. Last night, I went to yoga, and I did a, for me, you know, I'm still not in the greatest shape, but for me, I did a pretty, pretty intense workout, you know, and that's a daily thing for me now, which is, I never thought I'd say that. I feel guilty, I feel crappy, I, I get kind of like grumpy, I guess, when I don't work out. And, you know, it's amazing. It's, you know, maybe someday I'll be able to get off the well of train. Mm -hmm. That could be pretty damn exciting. Um, let's see here. So, but it's great. Let's see here. Oh. So I had an epiphany the other day that maybe the reason why I had to go through my, so much crap and had to suffer and had to lose so much was so no matter what crap is going on in somebody else's life. I can relate to them, and I can try to make it better. Maybe that's my, my mission in life. Maybe that's why I'm here. You know, I'll freely admit, I'm not a religious person. I believe in science. But I also believe that there's fate. I believe in karma. I believe in the whole energy of the universe kind of things and all that. And, you know, there's got to be a reason to everything. That's the best I can say about it. But maybe that's why I had to go through so much and I had to get so low. 
not too long ago was so I could recover from it and become the woman that I'm intended to be to help everybody else. You know? I don't know if I mentioned this, but in my group, <clears throat> they started referring to me as the heart and soul of the group, and Tammy called me the mom of the group. Um, that's, that's definitely new for me, <laughs> and I love it. It's amazing. You know, all I want to do is take care of people. All I want to do is make their lives better. You know, I just want to build people up around me. I don't want to tear anybody down. You know, so what if you make a million dollars more than me? Awesome. As long as you're happy, are you doing it? That's all I care about. Um, so that's going to be my focus. I'm still going to work on school. I'm still going to work on my research, which I should be doing right now. But I'm going to focus on being there for everybody else. I'm going to put everybody, everybody else first like my mom did. And maybe that's what I need to be happy to. You know, maybe that's a big part of why my mood's so good. You know, and as part of that, I want to challenge the people who are miserable, are not happy that they're eating unhealthy, that wish they could exercise and enjoy it, wish they could lose weight, wish they had energy, all that. I challenge you, join me. You know, contact me. There's ways I can get you enough time to try something out and not a bad price and see if that's a workout for you. Or hell, if you live here in Denver, come to my house and work out with me. Give me 30 days. I can't see even 30 days. It has to be legitimate 30 days because it's been more like 90 for that. But I gave him a real 30 days of hard effort, and look where I am. You know, I'm, I lost another pound today. I'm gonna measure myself. Um, I don't know where the hell I put it, but I'm gonna measure myself today and see if measurements are changing. You know? Fighting off hormones and medication and imbalances and all that, it's very hard. And I have a feeling that if I wasn't struggling against all that, I would have seen a lot more. I probably would have lost 10, 20 pounds by now. I am 110% more active than I was. I am easily the same, more happy. I have energy. I'm still not sleeping, but that's for other reasons. Because HRT makes you pee all night, and I get up like four or five times a night. Because it's that or be so dehydrated that I have a headache. And I'll stick with being. <laughs> Just saying. Um, you know, so. You know. I would love to help you. you know, I'm not saying I'm trying to sell you anything. I just said, come over to my house. I'm always looking for somebody to work out with. I'm more than happy to be somebody that you can listen to. I'm more than happy to do anything. You know, and I'm going to make that my central goal in life, is just to help others. I need to, like, cover the screen on this tablet so I quit looking over here, because I'm sure that's distracting for some people. It's distracting for me. All right, so... Another really happy, awesome thing is I'm finally back in therapy. That's awesome. Maybe now I can finally come to terms with my mom's dad. Lord knows it's time. It's... Nine years? That I've put it off? It's time. It's definitely time to deal with that. It's time to deal with my... Fear of being alone, fear of never finding a partner. You know, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. I'm sick of. I, mean, I can't stay still right now for some reason. I'm sick of worrying about that. It's pointless. You know. 
I'll freely admit I'm kind of miserable because I have crushes on a lot of my good female friends that I refuse to act on because I don't want to jeopardize it and be, I'm pretty sure that it's not a returned feeling. And that's fan yes. It is... It's difficult knowing that you love and care for somebody that love and cares for you but there are things that can never be because they just can never be. <sighs> I never thought that one. Um, another thing I like to deal with in therapy is just the whole coming out thing. I'm still absolutely terrified of coming out at school. I'm terrified of being my true self. I. As soon as I get out of the parking lot here at my apartment complex, I'm happy, I'm comfortable, it's whatever. But being dressed as me outside my front door terrifies the crap out of me. And I know I shouldn't give a crap what anybody else thinks about me, but I do. I know it's stupid. And I'm working on it. <laughs> Um, where else do I want to go with this? I already talked about the coaching part. You know, I would love to find people who, you know, are willing to join me in this and allow me to coach them the way Stephen's coached me. You know, I might not be an expert at it yet, but look back at my videos. There's a difference in who I am. And the only thing in my life that I've changed so far as being part of Beachbody. It has motivated me as part of the challenge groups and everything else to get my head out of my butt and learn how to be happy. You know, I, I, there's no way in hell you guys would have seen me smiling and giggling and having a good old time before all that. Because honestly, these videos wouldn't exist. Um, you know, I'm still going to mention my, Go, my GoFundMe page. Being on Medicaid means I either pay for it myself or I go to a doctor who's not an expert. And the last thing I want to deal with is a watch surgery, especially down there. It's bad enough dealing with having boy parts instead of girl parts. But I'll take that over mangled parts. And so, either I find a way to force them to let me go to a doctor who actually knows what the hell they're doing, like Marcy Balls, Bowles, Bowles, or... <sighs> I'm so sorry, I can't say her name. Marcy. She's also a transgender woman, and she fixes F-ups that happened in the world. So I kind of trust her to do it right, you know, and obviously <laughs> you guys are getting used to me complaining about my voice. I am working hard on doing it naturally, but I constantly feel like I have a f lump in my throat because my body is so used to having that vibration down there and then knock things free that I'm constantly like having to kind of cough or whatever because it feels like there's something stuck there and you know I would like to not have to deal with that you know I'm, I'm sure there's a million girls in the world that would love not to have hooded eyes and I'm one of them hooded eyes and you waste a lot of time doing makeup that nobody's ever gonna even see and that's freaking annoying unless I walk around with my eyes closed all that effort and work is wasted, and it sucks, you know, and I don't like this big-ass brow lump thing going on, I have going on here. I like my cheeks, I love my smile, I like my lips, I just don't like my eyes and my brow. You know, it's not a lot to change, you know, maybe a little shape here and there. I contouring, which I didn't do today, I can make my nose look however the hell I want. <laughs> But there's a few things that I would change.
not vital. That can wait until I'm making money out of college. I would kill. I don't know. I wouldn't kill. I would maim. And I would quite literally give both my testicles to have hoops. I have decent ones. I know some girls have less than I do. But as I'm losing weight, it's going away. <laughs> so, you know, they're growing, but they're not. And, you know, with the size frame I have, I will never grow boobs that make sense to this, this size frame. So I would like to get a boob job. You know, all that cost a ton of money. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have it as a permanent link on here. Go to my GoFundMe page. Read my story. Share my story. You know? Even if you can't donate, leave me a comment. Give me ideas on how to make that better, on how to ask better. I don't know. Share. You know? Just because you can't help me doesn't mean you might not inadvertently pass through the internets <laughs> to somebody who can to somebody who wants to help you know it's anything can happen but if you don't ask it won't so here I am I'm asking thank you okay so trolling um so far, I've only really had one issue with one person so far, and I blocked him today, because you can only be so nice before you just get sick of talking to him, you know? I don't remember what post, I think it was my first happy post, you know, it was, just, was a, you are not a woman and you will never be a woman, you are blah, blah, blah. So I responded, basically saying, you know, that's your opinion, you're welcome to it. They responded back, it's a fact, not an opinion, I said, okay. You're blocked. Have a nice day. And I got another response of kind of ugly and kind of hatred. So I reported him and then completely blocked that person. I really could care less what you think. It has not affected me one bit. I'm addressing it, so there's probably the whole reason you were trolling me in the first place. Have fun. It was that easy. Two clicks of a button and you're gone. You disappeared. I don't care. You know? I'm happy. I will never go back to being Travis. If I am a freak of nature or whatever the hell you want to think of me, have at it. I know what I am. Exercise. I've kind of addressed already. I mean, I love exercise. I don't get it. Why did I fight it for so long? You know, once my knee quits hurting me, I might actually try jogging. Crazier things have happened. <laughs> and I got two more things I want to talk about, and we're doing good on time. Next is, you know, I put a, put together a list of like. I want to say like 60 pictures of different hairstyles, well, not necessarily hairstyles, but hair colorings that I like, and I posted it on Facebook and shared it with everybody who I think would have re would respond. There was a few people I didn't bother sharing with because A, um, I didn't think they were going to respond, or B, I don't know them well enough to even have them. <laughs> but, you know, I my highlights and I'm loving them and I love it when my hair is straight because I think it looks really cute my A-line haircut or A-line-ish and I think I've narrowed it down to a couple choices one is you know take about that much of it and do either a rainbow or purples and blues or pinks and blue purples whatever Bright and colorful and crazy. I like it. So that, or actually taking it and having it just kind of subtle but there, not. I mean, there's ones like 
I think they call it oil slick. I think it would look pretty good. It's not super adventurous. Those are the safer choices. You know, when I grow up and get a real job, I'll go back to not crazy. In the meantime, I'm going to have fun. Um, but, you know, there was a couple people that said, screw it. Do the platinum. Throw whatever freaking colors you want on it. And have fun. And I'm thinking I might just do that. I like the sound of that. You know, I've always kind of wondered what I look like as blonde, and if it looks like crap, die back. Big deal. But there's a couple of hairstyles out there that are freaking amazing. And the one girl, her hair is a little bit longer than me, and I don't think she has bangs. But it's like almost a silver platinum, and it's an ombre, like, to blue at the tip. And that one's beautiful. And then there's another girl, and her hair's a little bit longer than me, but she has, you know, the full platinum again. But then it's got like, kind of rainbowy colors throughout, but they're subtle. They're not really in your face. You know, I'm, I'm seriously considering doing the more aggressive. I'm, you know, I'm a 13 year old girl right now. I'm experimenting and screw it. You know, I'm going to have fun. You know, here pretty soon, I would like to do some sort of nose piercing or something. You know, I've always liked them. I always thought they are cute. Maybe if I break the 200 mark, that'd be my gift to myself. You know, I've already promised myself if I get down to the point where I don't really feel that I'm fat anymore, I'm going to pierce my damn belly button. <laughs> you know, it's been... It's, fun having all these different things you can do. You know, as a boy, it's... You can decorate a little bit, but not really. Without getting kind of like punky and weird looking. But as a girl, you know, my nose piercing or lip piercing or eyebrow piercing, colorful hair, it's kind of normal. You know, most people have no problem with that. Right, normal. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh about that. Um, <clears throat> no, it is what it is. Uh, oh, yeah. So I tried a different makeup because I'm running out of my Mac and I won't be able to afford to get more Mac until next month. Oh, my God, it was a train wreck. <laughs> oh, I almost just washed my face and started over. I ended up having to cover it up with Mac stuff to make it look decent. It would, it's like this kind of like um, foamy mousse crap. I don't even know how to describe it. And I tried to use it. I tried, I even Googled the right directions on how to properly use a product. And apparently that product, in my face, don't mix. And it would like clump and fall off or I would like kind of like wipe the spot and it just, yeah, it was horrible. It was, yeah, no, <laughs> never again. <laughs> um, okay. Last thing, then I'll let you guys go. Let's get back to doing your thing. I'm doing you. Um, a friend of mine contacted me. You know, she's been kind of watching my progress. And, you know, shopping this, they call it Thrive. And it seems like a logical step with the issues I'm having. You know, it's just like Beach Body, I'd say, you know, you sell your friends kind of thing, and I'm okay with that because with Beach Body, I'm helping other people. I, it's not like I'm selling some cheap ass product that nobody wants. I'm trying to help you get fit, and if I can afford my boob job at the same time, I'm good with that. Um, so, back to level or I can't remember the name hold on uh, Thrive okay back to Thrive I'm just considering doing it it's you know they have pill you take or two pills you take in the morning and that kind of I think she's the, the lady my brain's gone 
you know, might as well be a cartoon with the out to lunch thing going. I can't speak. Okay, so basically in the morning you take two pills. It's got a lot of the probiotics and stuff, which Lord knows I need because yeah, we're not gonna go into that. Um, my my digestion is effed up, and I don't know what to do about it. So you know that's a major plus. It might help fix a few of those things, which is awesome. Um. Then there's a, it could be wrong, it could be the shake, it's kind of like Shakeology, there's a shake you drink too. It could be the shake that has the probiotics and the, I, I just talked to her today and I honestly don't remember a lot of details because there's a lot of really cool details that were thrown out and for me, I think it's the logical step. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so, you know, there's the pills, there's the, uh, it seems like another meal replacement, so, you know, I could either mix the two together or have them as snacks throughout the day so I can kind of flush out more meals. I'm cool with that. Um, you know, there's a lot of different vitamins and nutrients and everything else that I know I'm not getting. And, you know, maybe that's a big part of why I'm having so much issues with my hormones and my weight loss and all that. And then they also have a patch that is how they can do the vitamins, you know? It's a patch and they have all these cute little designs and stuff and, you know, just like I gave Steven a month, I'm gonna give my friend a month. And, you know, I've been, I've known her long enough to know that she's seen some pretty awesome results. So it's not like, you know, it's some random stranger selling me something. I've seen the change in her too. You know, I have done a little bit of research on it. Um, you know, and, you know, kind of hoping some of you guys might want to join me on that one too. You know, maybe there's a couple of my friends out there that, they're like me, they've kind of hit that fitness point where they understand dieting, they understand nutrition, they understand exercise and love it and enjoy it but they're not getting results or they're not getting what they need or they're still exhausted. I know there's some days where I'm tired still. You know, so, you know, what's worse gonna happen? I'm gonna try it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm planning on signing up at the beginning of the month when I get paid and I'm gonna give it a shot. And I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel and how it's going. And I think I'll go ahead and share that link to that thing there too. <laughs> that thing there. Oh my God. I either need to drink or quit drinking, which I'm not, or something, because I'm kind of loopy and yeah. Maybe it's because I haven't worked out yet today. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, so. I am going to keep going with Beachbody because I love the results I'm getting and I'm going to work on becoming a coach and, you know, come try it with me. It's awesome. And I am going to join Thrive and I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to see what it does and I'm going to share with you guys every day how I feel about it as part of my daily transition update, you know. Maybe the combination of both is what I needed and what I what I need to succeed and be happy and be healthy and be done with all this junk. Oh, and apparently it does wonders for complexion and wrinkles and everything else too. So I'm looking forward to that because I'm sure I can get that. <laughs> I don't mind the smile lines and that's okay. You know, I'm good with smile lines, but yeah wrinkly brow. It's like the foundation finds that gap and makes it bigger. Annoying. Very, very annoying. Okay. So I realize I've been whispering a lot because I've been trying to get my voice up here and unfortunately when you do that you tend to get breath breathy and light a voice. Yeah. 
So I'm going to put the links in there to the three things I've talked about. Shakeology, GoFundMe, and Thrive. Check them out. Share. Make, give me your comments. Give me some feedback. And for Christ's sake, subscribe. You know, if you guys subscribe, if I get enough subscribers, you friends, I can actually like make a named YouTube instead of being like a dash question mark underscore four seven three or whatever the hell my actual user ID is. It makes it very hard for me to share my info with my friends. Because I basically just have to tell them to either go to my Facebook or search Becky Milton and hope I pop up. You know? Well, it kind of sucks. So, you know, if you like what I'm doing, leave a comment. If you like what I'm doing, like the damn video. And if you want to actually see more of me being out of my freaking mind, apparently, <laughs> um, subscribe. You know, worst case, you're going to get a good laugh out of my antics. All right, so my usual goodbye. Be good. Do good. And be happy. Don't let the little things get to you anymore. You know? Even if you're not going to join me in my quest to take over the world with happiness, exercise, eat right, and do the right thing. All right. Love you all.